Hello world, I am Rajini Sharchandra. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video of engineering graphics, we are going to study about projection of solids. So in this particular video, we are going to study about the projection of a triangular person. The problem you can see in your screen right now. An equilateral triangular prism of a base side 25 mm and height 50 mm is resting on one of its base edge on HP such that the face containing that edge is inclined at an angle of 30 degree with the HP. Draw the projections of the triangular prism when edge on which the prism rests is inclined at an angle 60 degree with the VP. An equilateral triangular prism of base edge 25 and height 50 is resting on one of its base edges on HP and the lateral face containing that base edge is inclined at an angle 30 degree, 30 degree with HP and the base edge containing that face and the edge on which it is resting is inclined at an angle 60 degree with the VP. So this is the problem. So we know that when a triangular person is resting on the ground with one of its base edges on the ground, it is clear that in the top view you can see the triangle with the, the base edge on the right side, right? Because it is resting on one of its base edges on the right side. So in the top view, you can see the triangle. So we can start with the, the top view. So since the triangle person is resting on one of its base edges, the base edge should be on the right side. And this is a prism. So we know that the prism will have two faces. One is the bottom face and the other is the top face. So this A, B, C. Presently, I don't have a triangular person, so this is a hexagonal person, this is the first phase and this is the second phase. I am uh, calling this as the ABC and this phase as a, the remaining letters. So, so this uh, phase will be visible and this phase will be invisible. So in the top view, this phase can be named as ABC and this phase can be named as a DEF. So this is ABC, comma, DEF, which means ABC will be the top phase and DEF the bottom face. This is the x-ray line project. Similarly, we can obtain the center also on comma over 2. We know that the center will be the angle by center of 2 angles. And since there is since this is a prism, there will not be any angle edges. So this is the top view of the triangular prism. Now in the front view you can project this so this will be our E dash and D dash because D, E, F is the bottom face and this will be E dash projecting here this will be our O dash and at the height of 50 and at the height of 50 so every edge will be at the height of 50 so that we will get this point and this will be our B dash, A dash and C dash because as we are observing from here, B will be come first. So B dash, A dash, and C dash, and this will be our O2 dash. So the front view has been completed. So the front view has been completed. Now it is given that the lateral face containing that edge is inclined at an angle 30 degree. That means that the lateral face containing that resting face edge means this one. E, B dash, A dash, D dash, H, that is inclined at an angle 30 degree with H. So, what we can do is, uh, at an inclination of 30 degree, draw a horse on the draw a line, and on that line, we can mark uh, this E dash, D dash. Now, this height or distance can be taken, and then in the point as B dash, A dash. We know that this is 90 degree, so from this point we can draw a 90 degree line, from this point also we can draw a 90 degree line, and on that point we can measure this. So this will be F dash, and this will be C dash, here it will be O2 dash, and then this will be O dash. Now, project this. So from here, see we can see that B and B. So 
so this will be our b this will be our a and this will be our c similarly here this will be our e this will be d and This will be your yes. connect all the edges very really tightly. So the edges are connected, and the last edges are also connected. Now, checking the result. As we explained in the result pyramid, the border will be visible. So this is part of border. This will be this much portion. As you are observing from here, the base is nearer. See, in the case of a pyramid, if the apex is nearer, base will be invisible, and if the apex is far, far the base will be visible. Here, see, we are observing from here, which means this face will be visible, and this face will be invisible. Clear? See, this is the result. As you are observing from here, this base will be visible, and this base will be invisible. So, as this is a nearer base, this is that means A, B, C will be visible and D, E, F will be invisible. So A, B, C will be visible. So that will be visible and D, E, F will be invisible. Only this portion is now invisible. These two edges will be visible as they are part of a border. Now we are observing from here C, F is a nearer edge. So C, F is as C, F is nearer that will be This much portion will be visible as this belongs to axis. So the second portion also has been completed. It means the first inclination also. The first inclination is now completed. That means uh, the resting base, uh, the phase containing the resting edge is inclined with an angle 30 degree with HP has been completed. Now it is given that uh, the edge on which the rest is inclined at an angle. 60 degree with VP. The edge on which it is resting is, or the resting base edge is inclined at an angle 60 degree with VP. So, see, now we can see that it is resting on AB or ED. Since it is a, 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 the bottom base is a DEM, it is resting on ED. So, which means the base edge ED has to be inclined at an angle of 60 degree. So, what we can do? Draw a line. At an inclination of 60 degree like this, and on that line we can mark this ED, right? So we can select a point here. See, this is 60 degree. This point can be marked as E. Take this distance, mark here. So this will be our D. And we can mark this point here. Draw right perpendicular there. On that line we can measure this distance. So that we can obtain F. Or otherwise you can take this distance in a compass. From here draw an arc. Take this distance from uh, in your compass. You think this is center intersect that arc. In that manner also you can obtain F. Now through every point through E, through D and through F. Draw open it. And on that perpendicular, you can measure this distance. So this will be our B, this will be our A, this will be our C. Reproduce the image. So this image has been reproduced with the, the base edge inverted at an angle 60. Now we all know that the next step will be C. 
see since in the case of a prism they are having two bases the easier method for completing the projection is complete one face and then complete the other so here we have a draw the optical projectors through c a as well as through b so through b dash through what to and through c dash we have draw the So now we have obtained D dash and A dash as well as C dash. Similarly, this will be our auto dash. So one base is completed. Now we can connect the A dash, B dash, B dash, C dash, and the C dash, A dash like this. So once we have completed one base, that will be easier for the that that will be easier for us for completing the other now through e through d and through f so this will be our e dash this will be our d dash so this will be our d dash and this will be f dash through all the drivers on the this will be our own dash so e dash b dash f dash so now we can see that both the bases has been completed so connect we know that the connection is connection is between b dash and e dash e dash and d dash like this so connect b to e connect e to d and connect c to d so the entire image has been completed now we have to check the visit so this is the boundary so the boundary is complete boundary as you are observing here the base EFD or DEFDA is nearer to the observer BCA is the farther from the observer so EFD will be so this is EFD so that will be visible so automatically the other will become invisible so this will become invisible now we know that we are observing from here BE BE is nearer it is already visible in the other and we also know that for an invisible corner the edge connecting and or the lateral edge connecting an invisible corner will be invisible See, a is an, since A is an invisible corner, that will be invisible. So that is also become invisible and then this is a part of an axis. So, now the dimension is, this is 25 and the height is 50. So, this is the method of projection of prisms. So this is the projection of a triangular prism. Actually the triangular prism is the easiest one to understand. That's why I started the projection of prism with a triangular prism. So what we have learned here is uh, for completing the projections, what we have to do is uh, complete one base and after completing one base we have to go for the other. Because for a prism two bases are there. So I hope all of you have understood this question. In the coming videos, we will be discussing hexagonal prism. So, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.